Three in Blackford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I know that we all in this House, and I'm sure throughout the entire United Kingdom, welcome the opportunity of the Prime Minister's statement this morning. I think we can all reflect on the scenes that we woke up to last week, the horror of those that were living in the Tower Block, the suffering and the pain that they must have gone through, the agony of seeing the fire spread through that building. And I want to also thank the members of the emergency services, in this case another instance that we've seen over the course of the last few weeks, putting their lives on the line, and we owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to them. We on these benches want to work with the government on these matters. These are, I think, an incident, the incident last week is a defining moment in the evolution of our society. Can I say to the Prime Minister respectfully, though, she has apologised to the Leader of the Opposition for the short notice, but it shouldn't just be to the Leader of the Opposition, it should be to the third party and indeed all parties represented in this House that there should be adequate provision. The Prime Minister, in her statement, said that the initial failure was then compounded by the fact that the support on the ground in the initial hours was not good enough. Can I ask that, through the public inquiry, if there are recommendations that are made, the changes that have to be made, that the government will accept those? I think, secondly, on the £5 million which has been put into the initial emergency fund, if this is not sufficient, will the government commit to doing what it needs to in order to make sure that the appropriate financial resources are available. I welcome the fact that the Prime Minister has said that the new uh, housing block that has been built by Barclay Homes will be made available for some of the families. And She talks about families moving in over the summer. Can she be more specific as, as to when this will happen? And Can we make sure that those families who do wish to live in the local area will have that commitment that housing will be made available? And It will be done on the basis that there will be consultation. And if the first offer is not acceptable, that there will be alternatives that can be put in place. Will the Prime Minister agree that the public inquiry should be empowered to consider all the steps that were, or were not taken leading up and contributing to this incident? All of those with a legitimate interest must be able to participate. This has to include the bereaved families, survivors as well as individuals, and organisations with an interest such as the Residents Campaign and local uh, representative organisations. This needs to be about Parliament recognising the significance of what has happened here. We can never be as a country in this position again. And I welcome the remarks that the Prime Minister has made about social housing. Let's make sure that social housing is something that we invest in. I grew up in a social house. I remember fondly my childhood, and I want people that have the same opportunities that we had to have social housing that we can all be proud of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And perhaps I could take this opportunity in responding to the Honourable Gentleman to make it clear that the testing facilities that I referred to earlier are open to the devolved administrations as well. So I would also encourage, obviously, within the devolved administrations, again, anybody who has any buildings that, uh, of this sort, to send the sign samples in so they can be, uh, can be tested. The Honourable Gentleman asked about the £5 million fund. It will indeed, if necessary, more money will be made available. As I said, something like 700000 has already been paid out and further money will be paid out, but we will be looking at that, uh, at that sum over time. As regards the Barclays Homes development, um, the planning conditions which were attached to that development have been relaxed to enable work to take place over longer hours so that the work can be speeded up. Um, the current expectation is that these could be available by the end of July. But I, I say that in caveated, as the Honourable Gentleman and others, I'm sure, will recognise that it's uh, dependent on the work being completed. He asked about uh, issues around the inquiry. It is important, it's absolutely crucial, that what the inquiry does, it seems to me, is to look at, at how this happened, and part of that will be looking at what led up to the fire, at the response to the fire, the immediate response to the fire, and, um, and uh, the aftermath. We need to know why this happened and who was responsible for it. But, of course, the judge who will be chairing the inquiry will have a role in determining how that inquiry is handled in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of the witnesses that he wishes to uh, take and uh, uh, so forth. But, as I said, I'm very clear that we need to ensure that this is an inquiry in which people can have full confidence, and that's why I want to see residents being involved in setting the terms of reference so that they know that it is an inquiry that is going to meet their needs.